Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Modern Warfare 3 video. I'm going to be showing you my first impressions, kind of what is in the disc and what you can expect from the main part of Modern Warfare 3. Right here, I'm rocking the Juggernaut. Woo, pretty cool. So, I'm going to close my tray, get the disc running, and uh, show you what to expect. Play game. Play Modern Warfare 3? Sure. I'll play it. So, I am doing um, a live commentary. So, um, if you hear my clicking like from my controller, I apologize. My mic that I'm using picks up everything. So, I'll try and reduce... See if I can reduce the sound somehow. Like that, you're gonna you might hear a lot of that. So I'm gonna skip the intro scene. If you wanna see the intro scene, you're gonna get the game yourself. So right right off the bat, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, press the start button. Uh, you can adjust your visibility. Um, let's see. I'm trying to go off my recording software and my TV. My TV, I don't mind it bright. My looks good on uh a capturing device. Jeez, move the slider. Okay, moving it. I'll go off the uh, thing again. So, if you want extra space, you can do that. If you want it closed off completely, you can do that. Move the slider again. Now, obviously, this is only for in-game, like, HUD. If you, let's say, want the map more close to the center of the screen, you can actually reduce your, uh, your margins. Um, so that's good on my capturing device. Uh, disturbing content notice. Uh, some, play some players may, may find some game content in one of the missions disturbing or offensive. Would you like to have this option option to skip this content? No, I will not be offended. Basically, you, the only thing about doing that mission, um, you can actually skip it if you're trying to like uh, kind of speed through the game. But for achievements, you're still not going to skip anything. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, yes, never ask me again. Oh, okay, so this is the main menu. Um, sadly, it kind of looks like Modern Warfare 2, if any, if any of you played that. Um, on the left, you have sp uh, Special Ops. Um, basically, playing co solo or co-op, rank up to unlock weapons, tactical support, levels, and more in survival mode and a variety of challenging missions. Uh, campaign, pick up the story where Modern Warfare 2 ended and continue the single-player experience. And multiplayer, rank up, unlock new weapons, perks, point streaks, and much more online and locally. Now, the thing about something I, I I'm noticing right away is why the Y button um, you can actually set as default. This is amazing because Modern Warfare 2 um, didn't have this option. Black Ops actually showed this feature. Um, if you actually go to multiplayer, you can set uh, or you go. I think you go into options, then you can actually set multiplayer to default. This actually kind of makes it more better because you can set whatever you want as default. So if you directly want to go into multiplayer whenever you start the disc, press Y, click OK. Now obviously, when you go into multiplayer, um, continue with multiplayer, um, you, can, you can always go back to the main menu. So it's nothing, nothing like you can't turn back from. Take the hard drive, and this is your multiplayer menu. Uh, now I'm not going to go through the special ops or um, campaign because it's probably straightforward. You choose like campaign, you start, you choose your difficulty. Special ops. Um, if any of you want to see that, I'll try it out. But it's kind of like zombies or um, combat training for the from Black Ops. So I'm not really going to do that that much. Uh, but off the right, off the bat, you got Xbox Live, split screen, system link. Elite that I will be probably doing a separate video on how to set it up. Uh, you got Vault, view game replay, screenshots, and more. Okay, so this must be um, this must be the theater mode. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You got th oh theaters theater mode, uh, but it, the online vault is kind of new, but theater mode is still there. Uh, store. This is probably the multiplayer store. 
Yep. So if you wanna if you wanna purchase some kind of uh, gear, then you can go do that. Options are options. Button layout. I'm going tactical sensitivity. I think I do like higher in the middle. Uh, the hor uh, horizontal and vertical margins uh, you can adjust again. Game volume, brightness, uh, colorblind assist. Uh, theater recording is enabled or disabled. So if you don't even want theater mode at all, you can actually disable it. You can select your save device and you can actually sign in or out of Facebook. Um, so that was option. And then you can go to your main menu. Now, system link is typical, uh, shows your prestige and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, no, that's Xbox Live, private game. Private game, you can actually, uh, I noticed that you can create a class and you have everything. You have all the pro perks, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty sick. So uh, if you want to learn some kind of um, perk or uh, weapon, then if you want to like test it out, you can. That's kind of cool. And you can obviously set up game, join progress, allowed, disabled, whatever. Intermission. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. So if you wanted to play like a game, but continuously, then you, actually, you can set up an intermission and uh, I guess we'll only wait like, what, five seconds, whatever it is. And then it starts another game again. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Call signs. Uh, I guess that's whatever you unlock during the game. Same thing as Modern Warfare 2. So there's some more stuff. Um, obviously, if you want to, um, if you want to see anything new, um, this is basically, um, ooh, there's a standard and advanced playlist. All oh, that is amazing. So all your hardcore stuff uh, and all your standard. That is sick. Also looks like um, level 10. You have to, to get to level 10 to unlock some of these uh, modes. But I like how Kill Confirmed is uh, is one of like the first games you can play. Team Defender, you got to wait to level 5. But I think Kill Confirmed is going to be the, like, the most played. Oh, actually no, Team Deathmatch as well. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing um, my first gameplay. I'm going to upload that soon. And I'll probably do um, a kind of a short video on the MOAB. So if there's any, if I get that out soon, then uh, I will obviously link it somewhere. So I'm going to head out right now. Uh, guys, if you missed the unboxing, uh, you can click the, this annotation right here uh, if you want to see that. Um, but also, please subscribe to the channel for more Modern Warfare 3 videos. Uh, please like if anything helped. Or you, if you love Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, please leave a like and faith. Helps a lot. I'm too excited for Modern Warfare 3. But yeah, I'm just first thing 9. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. I can see why they didn't do a Prestige Edition. But uh, I got the...